What's happening, art family? This is Taylor Payton of TheBeginnerDrawingCourse.com and TaypayArt.com, and I'm here to do the 10 Styles Challenge. I basically found 10 of my favorite artists, artists that you have heard of and some of them you may have not, and I'm gonna be replicating their style as best as I can, kind of using their techniques to work on my character, Isaac, from Satellite Psychic Saga, and uh, let's just get into it. So as you can see, I'm starting with Choi Min Yu. Now, Choi Ming Yu is the artist for the Korean manga Dungeon Reset, and he is probably one of the best draftsmen, best just drawing based artists that I have ever become aware of. My buddy Will Martin, whose style I will also be emulating in this video, turned me on to his work and I have been in love with it ever since. You can find all of these artists in the description box because I've linked to one profile they have or another, either Instagram, ArtStation, things of that ilk. But basically, as you can see on the right side of the screen, are, it's just kind of a, a compilation of his artwork and something that he put together using a character that has a similar kind of outfit to my character Isaac, and so I thought it would be the perfect reference. And as you can also note, he's got some really sweet line work, some fair amount of lined thickness, and some thin lines that he uses to discern the forms within the silhouette of the character, within the actual um, interior, not just the contour lines. It, it made me really consider a lot of how I lay my lines down, where to put details, how to use different line weights, and just made me realize how strong his drawing prowess really is and how much further I can go if I just keep on learning from him, studying like he does, and so forth. But here's how the first style ended up using Choi Ming Yu as reference. Okay, and next we have Wes Burke. Now, Westbird has worked on things like Marvel and Magic the Gathering and tons of video games, and he is one of the OG concept art heroes to me. Uh, I just really, really love his work. He's found a perfect, to me, blend of realism and stylization. And doing this study, I realized just how well he understands the planes of the face, how well he understands facial anatomy, and how he's really good at incorporating his drawing and his painting into one process. And to me, since I'm a really, really big advocate of drawing, but I also love to paint, I know that I'll be studying more Wes Burt in the future, simply because he has such a great process for how to translate your drawing into painting. And we're always trying to do that if we start on the drawing side of things, and we're always trying to do that if we start on the painting side of things. It's just really good to know how to draw and paint because there's different effects you can only achieve with each, but to get the fusion, the proper fusion, they kind of become multiplicative. They're, they're better than either could ever be alone. You know, I think it's, there's a really blurry line, you know, once you hit a certain point between uh, line work and shape or value work, but I did my best on this one uh, It was just really hard in clip studio paint because I'm not used to painting in it yet But I still really like how this one turned out It just has a cool sort of style and vibe to it and I learned a lot, but here's the Westbert style Okay, and next up we have Akihiko Yoshida Another one of my absolute art heroes and one of the first artists I can remember admiring as a kid. Uh, Akihiko Yoshida was the artist of Final Fantasy Tactics, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I get chills thinking about how cool the artwork is, how amazing the story is, and how much he had to do with shaping the visual flavor of that game. Uh, I'm using one of his concepts from, I believe, a Nier game and his style has only evolved and gotten better over the years, honestly. He is just so good at design, so amazing with a traditional uh, look to his work, and I really had a great time emulating it, so just check out the uh, Akihiko Yoshida style. All right, next up we have the legendary Kim Jong-hee. Now, Kim Jong-hee is 
everybody, I mean, everybody knows him. He's just so, so, so good. He impresses all of us with his ability to work from memory, how well he can tackle different types of perspective and the complexity of his scenes. Now, there's tons of videos of Kim Jong-ji, I'm sorry, Kim Jong-hee drawing on YouTube. And I did this one fairly quickly because I actually tried to correct it as little as possible or use as many digital cheats as I usually do cheats, quote unquote. But anyway, this is the Kim Jong-hee style after referencing his piece of art there. All right, next we have Ahmed Alduri. Now, Ahmed is really, really well known on YouTube. He was a concept artist for a short while, but now we kind of know him for his amazing ability to turn out tons of concepts and sketches and how well he balances uh, design work as well as painting work. Again, he's just sort of a powerhouse of art in my mind and his style has mad appeal. I had a really hard time capturing the essence of his sketchbook in Clip Studio Paint, which I've only been using for two months now, but I really, really had a lot of fun in reimagining my character using the sort of shape design that he likes to utilize. It's, it's a little more stylized, but it always has such flavor and such verve to me and I never get tired of his painting. His paint release stuff is amazing and I know I'll be studying that in the future. Uh, but yeah, I kind of went for a little bit more of a magician type vibe with Isaac just because the reference gave me that feeling. And of course, I got to have all my boys geometry floating around there because I am a huge fan of geometry. Uh, I kind of nerd out about it. But either way, this is the Ahmed Alduri style and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. All right, next up we have my boy, Will Martin. Will Martin has been one of my absolute best friends since high school, and I've had the pleasure of watching him grow artistically and having a, a comrade, a, a sort of rival. A, he's been so much to me, it's hard to put into words, um, but he knows that I love him. He knows that he is uh, one of my absolute best friends on this planet, and we, we went to school together. We nerd out about stuff. We played tons of games, and we design characters, and we're both pros now, which is really fun. But his style is super, super slick, super clean, and he's really, really gotten way better, even in the past two years, as he's connected with some industry pros, they've given him some feedback, and he's killing it now. So I wanted to see just what he's learned in sort of a cursory way by taking his character Nova and drawing my character Isaac thereafter. Uh, I'm thinking about having Will Martin on the channel for a live stream or a guest video at some point, so let me know in the comments if that's something you want. Otherwise, please go check out my guy's work because he is an ace at what he does. His style is so on point and his tastes are too but yeah this is me doing my best will martin based off this piece okay next we have carl kapinski Carl Kapinski is way up there in terms of strong draftsmanship because he's able to capture so much and so much expressiveness with his line work, with the way that he turns forms, with his mark making. Again, he's sort of like Wes Burt in the way that I can just see how much he understands surface planes of the face and of the equipment he designs and how easily or how he makes it look so easy in terms of his uh, ability to not only separate materials but have all of these design motifs and details that come together and feel so real but yet have just that delicious amount of style to them. So this is my best shot at Carl Kapinski. Again, I had a hard time emulating that sketchbook kind of look in Clip Studio Paint, but until I get a physical setup where I can actually draw in a sketchbook and record it properly, then this will just have to do. Uh, I still had a lot of fun with this one. I still had a lot of fun shading and trying to emulate to some degree his mark making and looking at how he kind of treats the planes of the face, how he uh, uses shadows and occlusions, and how he's able to get so much form with just the pencil. It's crazy. All right, so this next style is, I hope I'm saying this right, Gerard Van Dyke. 
Now, Garad, to me, or Mr. Van Dyke, is a phenomenal, phenomenal draftsman in so many ways because I think that he it works in the comics industry, if I'm not mistaken. And so he's had to take his drawing very seriously. And his mark making is so finite. It's so, so subtle. I've watched his Instagram videos where he's going in with his really fine lined um, like pen and he's turning form so subtly you wouldn't have no idea it's pen it's almost sculptural it's like he's making the pen create a sculptural clay like effect it's just beautiful and i had honestly one of the most challenging times trying to replicate this and i know that i didn't get anywhere like super near it at all because he just his hand is so delicate he's developed such an amount of uh, mastery over the years that i just haven't gotten being an illustrator and concept artist versus more of a comic artist more of a draftsman so it was really really elucidating to learn from him and i still had a lot of fun and i still learned a ton so here is my best take at Garad Van Dyke. All right, with just two more to go, this one is Pil Young. Now, Pil Young is an artist I discovered this year as well, and I am unsure as to their gender, so I'm just gonna say they. Um, and to me, I, I just fell in love with their work because it has a beauty and an elegance that you don't often see in artwork. Um, you can just see their fan art of Link and how amazing they're able to capture form in a very high key way. I, I changed the design quite a bit of Isaac for that one. But in this case, then I wanted to go on and study Saskia Gudekunst. And again, I hope I'm saying these right. I am so sorry if I am not, I'm doing my best. But either way, she has a beautiful style in so many ways. She draws, she paints, she conceptualizes, she does work for stuff that's on Netflix. And I just really wanted to give my best shot um, in terms of trying to recreate my character based on how cool her character design was because it has that sort of a Stranger Things vibe to it and it just has a nice style and it's amazing. So I just wanted to give it a shot. My goodness. So after over eight hours of work, I was able to get all 10 of the styles done. It was a super big challenge. I learned a lot. I highly recommend this exercise if you haven't done it already. I used as many of my fundamentals as I could to try and understand what these artists that I admire so deeply are doing. And if you want to know what those fundamentals are, feel free to check out my other videos or go to thebeginnerdrawingcourse.com. Uh, yeah, I'm Taylor Payton. I make videos, I make art, I make lessons. I do as much as I can to try and evolve and share and grow. So I'll see you guys next time and happy drawing.